Today we have some brand new updates from Google and also DeepSeek. So we're going to be running through those today. Um, also be showing you some cool stuff about how to, to grow your business with AI and some free resources that we've got available for you. So let's kick off with what we've got recently. So one of the newest things is a new update from DeepSeek. And essentially DeepSeek here, they have introduced a new model called deep seek terminus right um if you want to get all the links from today as well just feel free to get that inside the ai money lab we, we put all the links inside there as well um but yeah essentially deep seek terminus 3.1 has just come out and it's super powerful let me show you how it works step by step so deep seek terminus if you want to get access you can see that you get access via open router. So you can grab the API or you can use it directly inside the chat here. If you wanna know how it works, etc. So basically this literally just came out on the 22nd of September here. And it's a new update to DeepSeek. There is a paid API if you wanna use the API, but you can also get access via deepseek.com. So if you go over to deepseek.com here, you can check out DeepSeek Terminus. And um, yeah, we can start using it directly inside the app here. So it just got released. Um, and the main thing here is like it has a much stronger performance when using agents, right? So you can see the benchmarks here. If we pull this up, this is a table of the benchmark comparisons. Good tweet by Rahan Paul, by the way. Um, and you can see like the comparisons here. So we had Deep Seek version 3.1, which I covered about a month ago. And then we also have Deep Seek V3.1, right? Um, Terminus. And so these are the differences. For example, you see on the benchmarks here that it's performing much better when it comes to MMLU, GPQA, Humanities Last Exam, Live Code Bench, Code Forces, etc. Pretty much everything it is superior on. You can see actually on Code Forces it's got a lower score. Um, some of these I'm not familiar with when it comes to um, these, but here's the main difference, right? Agentic tool use. So if you have a look here, at browse computer, you can see. Um, the previously deep seek scored 30 now it scores 38.5 which is a huge step up it's like 25 percent increase on uh on the new tool but the new model was pretty good i'm still not going to switch to it from like chat gpt or or claude i think claude is just the goat for writing which is the majority of what we do when it comes to to creating content but yeah it's, it's pretty good yeah let's have a look here so we've got luma ray 3 here so this is a new release. I mean, I bet the video is probably only like eight or 10 seconds, but how crazy does that look? Like how good does that look? It's wild. You, see, you would never know the difference, right? For most people, like the difference between, you know, something that's AI generated and something that's CGI generated. Uh, how would you be able to tell the difference? Like the next Game of Thrones is probably gonna be created with, with AI or something like that, you know, the next version or the next, um, the next, series that's just as popular as game of thrones and then you can see some examples here so we've got for example like the, the highlights of the most powerful model um yeah i mean this is really cool as well you can do draft mode you got reasoning models as well inside their visual annotation and then hdr studio grade hdr mm, that's interesting so you can compare like the different examples you got under exposure raw and then high exposure for me, honestly, I would say high exposure looks the nicest, but the quality of video now is just outrageous, isn't it? It's just absolutely outrageous. So we've got Ray 3 set up here. Let's see what dimensions you get. So you get 16, 9, and 9, 16, right? So you can do uh, shorts, or you can do like long form, you know, landscape versus uh, portrait mode. We can select Ray 3. We can also switch between Ray 3 reasoning um, and Ray 3, like just high motion. And then you can switch here. So you can see we've got two options for duration, which is five seconds and 10 seconds. All right. And we'll say, right, okay. Create a action movie scene with a high speed police car chase, something like that. And we'll see what we get back. I can imagine that's probably going to take a few minutes to generate, but I'm interested to see, okay, what we get back. Um, and how long that takes. What I can actually do is just set the stopwatch here. So we'll start that now, and we'll see how long this takes to generate. So it's kind of got like the basic image. It says it's dreaming up. Now I think what also we can do here is I uh, probably generate two at the same time. 
So if I double, if I duplicate that, um, and then I'm going to go to, uh, so you can rename it in the top left here as well, yeah? And then if we go to uh, boards, keyframe, and then I think we can upload an image of ourselves and use that inside the images as well, right? So if we go now to, let's say, I know some someone was asking, like, how do you create uh, commercials for a product, right? Like, so what we can do is, let's say my product is the Link Building Mastery book that we've got here. We're going to download that. Then we're going to go to keyframe here, grab that image. And I think you can have multiple images, which is interesting too. So I'm going to say, okay, create a UGC advert with someone advertising this book. We'll see if that works. I don't know if that's going to work or not because I've never used Ray 3. Like you've literally just seen me sign up for it, but we can see if it works or not. So it's been one minute 20 so far. And if we have a look at this, it's still creating the video. So it does take quite a while to generate those videos. Um, but you're getting a feel for it now. So you can see how it looks, what it looks like, etc. Kind of looks like a, a Need for Speed video game scene there. We'll see how it goes. And then in the meantime, we've got... Ah, look at that. Yeah, so you can create commercials really easily using that process. I wonder if that's going to have sound as well. I don't think it will, but it'll be interesting to see. And I think that is fully generated. So you can see here it's generated in 720p. Um, kind of looks weird to me. It looks cool, but it, it doesn't look as impressive as the examples that I saw on the website. So what I can actually do is if we go to Claude, we'll go to Claude. Um, we'll say, okay, we just need to improve the prompts. So I'm going to say, create some prompts for amazing cinematic short movies include the colors, um, actions, etc. Try and cram everything you can in an eight second scene. It's amazing, no one And we'll see if we can get like something better as a prompt. Let's try that one. We can try a few of these, so I'm just gonna have this over here. But that's pretty good, I mean, look at that one. You can also extend it. So you can make it longer if you want to. There's no audio on that, like I mentioned. And then you can download it here. So if we download that, let's open it up. So this is the video. Pretty cool. That was super easy, wasn't it, as well? Can you change the resolution here? Yeah, so you can have 1080p if you want to. I think that would take a lot longer, so I'm probably not going to do that on a live stream, but you can see how easy that is to do. And then you can also brainstorm here, so you can get more ideas, uh, you can reply, etc. and it comes up with the prompt, like so. Let's try another one now. So I'm going to say, okay, uh, here's the colors, here's the scene, etc. We're going to switch that to 9 by 16 and then we'll generate a response like so. So this one we're generating like a seafoam astronaut ballet dancing underwater we've got the phoenix being generated over here the forest of giants okay that sounds cool so we'll just create a few at one time rinse all the credits whilst we can and then what i'm also going to do is just make sure i cancel see there's no audio on these as well so i don't think you can but what you can do is um and this is something that i've done before with the ai profit boardroom um so if you type in reels at the top classroom nhm viral reels workflow inside this workflow what we actually have is a full process for adding audio automatically to your reels right and it kind of syncs the audio with the video um using a api from n810 and uh, foul and basically inside this automation, what you can see, for example, is it will actually sync the audio with the video. It works really, really well. And then if you just want to steal the workflow, we actually have that inside the, the AR profit boarding as well. So you can just grab the uh, importable JSON over here. But yeah, basically that workflow there will help you sync audio with video automatically. So if you have something like Ray 3, you can easily just do it that way instead. You don't need to worry about the audio.
so let's have a look at what we got here. This is more like it. Look at this. I want to feed this full screen. Why won't he let me? All right, cool. That's cool. I mean, uh, it, it looks like a full cinema style. You can upscale it as well with HDR. You can add more like this. You can actually extend the video as well, so you can make it longer. And you can add an M frame as well. So you could say, right, okay, make a shark run after the woman. And then I think what it would do is extend the clip and add that in, right? So it's adding the, the shark pursuit over here. But that looks really, really cool. This one is pretty cool too. Not as good as the first one, honestly, but it looks cool. And then we got this too. Like a mushroom forest. We've got the desert spiral. Very, very trippy. And then finally, oh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. But yeah, Lumen looks cool. It looks really, really cool. This is the best output so far. So let's have a look what went well here. So we, I think the colors work really nicely. Bear in mind, it didn't do everything that we asked it to. So we asked it to like dance and uh, the character doesn't dance. I think the camera actions as well probably help a lot. Um, and then just like the scene itself, you know, the jellyfish, the the bioluminescent jellyfish looks really cool. A lot of these scenes, they don't really make sense. So like if you look, I can see this is generated now, but you see how the shark is just like swimming around the person and then the person sort of drifts into the water. It doesn't make much sense to me. But it looks cool. And then you can reframe it as well. So you can actually edit the, uh, the frame in here. So you can say, right, okay, make it bigger, zoom in, zoom in on that person, or just the background, etc., And download the canvas that way. But yeah, pretty cool. And you can actually edit these bits as well. So you can change like the, uh, the scenes and stuff like that, like drowned alien spacecraft, for example. But if we go to a new board here, create a new one, um, plug that in. And then I think we can switch to Ray 3 Reasoning, and that will probably give us better outputs. Because the main thing that I see with the outputs is that the content itself is it, it's not very well thought out. Like, it looks great, but it is, it, it's not very logical. So you can see that it takes a lot longer to generate the responses, but I think it, sh it should be better thought out, surely, if it's going to take that much time. It's kind of annotating it as well, look. You see how it's circling different parts. Now, just whilst waiting for that to load, make sure you do join the AI Success Lab if you haven't already. 27,300 people in there. Um, you know, we're posting new stuff all the time. There's stuff in here that you won't find anywhere else. So, for example, like yesterday, we were offering a free LLM ranking session to try and rank your business inside um, LLMs. And the only way you can get that is inside the AI Money Lab. So we're giving away free stuff like that. We have exclusive deals on different products. Um, we also give away like new trainings every single day, like you can see. And uh, we chuck in loads of video tutorials inside here as well, along with like giveaway contests as well. So you can see here, we have a look through the list, uh, even like people posting their experiences with the community and what they got as well uh yeah giveaways like you can see even like free trainings from the ai profit boardroom uh like a full klein prompt collection completely for free and we show you exactly how to get access and then also inside the classroom here you're going to get access to like the ai automation course which comes with like a i think there's like 50 automations inside here you know every single one of these is a different training with a step-by-step -step SAP, etc. as you can see. So if we go to Minimax, for example, it's got a full training here. And then if we scroll down, um, you can see it's got a link to all these different resources as well. And then even like for the new, new stuff, right? So for the latest stuff, for example, like Sea Dream that literally just came out, we have a bunch of resources here and a step-by-step -step operating procedure like you can see. So if you want to get access to this stuff completely for free, then join the AI Money Lab link in the comments description um, and you can get access to all this stuff, right? We also include like a thousand free NA10 automations. 
We include some stuff on like AI agents, 200 chat GPT prompts, etc. Um, and this comes in like video, audio, PDF, and printable format too, so you can get access to everything. Um, and that's all inside here. All right. Plus, you can connect with 27,000 AI builders. So, link in the comments description to the AI Money Lab. Let's go back to GenSpark now, see what we got. It's taken absolutely ages, isn't it? To generate. But I like the way, I mean, look at that output. It looks really, really cool. It's coming to life now for sure. Seems to make a lot more sense as well versus the previous options. And it looks better than a lot of movies, doesn't it? You know, like if you look at the cinematography and you look at the colors and the lighting, um, even the details in the background, super interesting. Kind of like an avatar feel. And yeah, that's basically it. I would see it inside the AI Money Lab. If you want to get like coaching, support, help with me, etc., join the AI Profit Boardroom. You can see today Mike's a member of the AI Profit Boardroom. We do have a flash sale running right now. And inside the community here, you can see that we're, you know, it's, it's very active. Lots of people posting cool stuff that they're working on. Super active community, lots of people helping each other, which is amazing too. And then also we do weekly uh, giveaways. So inside the AI Profit Boardroom, we're running this giveaway right now. We also reward people for posting each week on the leaderboards. And we have like NA10 automation coaching course as well. Top of that, inside the classroom, you get access to all this stuff. That's really just focused on like the actionable ways you can use AI to scale your business and get more leads, get more traffic, get more sales. And then also inside the calendar here, we have loads of different sessions running. Right. So you can join five coaching calls a week where you can ask, get support, get help. Um, and if you're struggling with anything, then you can join here. On top of that, we have a map. So you can see all the members around the world, see who's close to you, see who's in your city. And then, you know, you can arrange offline meetups as well with people who are interested in the same stuff as you. And uh, it also comes with all of this stuff like you can see right here. So feel free to get the AR Profit Boardroom. And if you want us to actually just go off and automate stuff for you and you want to hire us um, and become a client, then you can book in an AI automation session. On that call, basically, we're going to look at where you spend your time. Then we're going to build out the systems you need to save you time. And from there, we'll go off and implement it. Right. So you can become a client, hire us to do AI automation for you. We have an amazing team. Um, this is with my agency, so feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.